At the time of recording this video, we are a matter of days away from a brand new Apple event where we might possibly or probably will be seeing the brand new iPhone 13 or 12S not really too sure what it's going to be called and the rumors are circulating far and wide as to what other features and maybe other devices as well as the iphone that we might see away from all of this however as exciting as all of that is i genuinely love watching all of the apple events and the cinematography and everything that goes into making their videos for these product releases however away from all of that there's one new feature I am still waiting for that I am massively excited about. This new feature has already been spoken about. It was announced at WWDC and I think it is gonna be perfect for creators from no matter what background you are from, whether you are a photographer, a video editor, graphic designer, you name it. I think this feature will be a game changer for everyone and that is universal control. So why am I so excited about it and why am I waiting for it? Let's get into it. Now before we go any further, if you are new here to this channel, my name is Scott Edwards. I make all sorts of video photography tech related videos. So if they are the sorts of things you are interested in, consider clicking that little subscribe button that's just down below there and come and be a part of this community. Now, universal control. If you haven't yet heard of this feature, it is a brand new feature that basically allows you to have your MacBook and your iPad next to each other. So if you line them up like this, and then you can basically use the keyboard and mouse from your MacBook and drag your mouse over onto your iPad and control your iPad with the mouse and keyboard from your MacBook or your iMac, whichever you use. And you can line them up as well into a number of different devices. So you can go iPad, MacBook, iMac for example and you can then use one keyboard to control all of the devices at the same time and what is insane about this is you literally have no setting up to do whatsoever so you literally place your MacBook and your iPad next to each other and drag across and it is that easy in theory it's not yet been released so I am dying to try it out and I hope it works as it was demonstrated at WWDC. I've mentioned the Apple ecosystem a lot on this channel before when I've spoken about different Apple products but it is one thing that I am a huge fan of and it is the main reason really as to why I always keep going back to Apple devices. However this universal control feature seems to be taking that to a whole new level and I think that is absolutely insane how these devices work together it is so good and it doesn't really happen with any other tech company or brand now I genuinely think that creators will absolutely love this feature no matter what you are trying to do when you are creating stuff because I think it will change the whole way that we interact with our, our devices the iPad especially now at the moment already for a couple of years you have been able to connect your iPad to your Mac and use your iPad as a second display and that is a feature called Sidecar and that is absolutely brilliant. I've used it a hell of a lot especially when I'm editing videos. What I do is I connect the two together and I can have all my clips open on my iPad and then just select them and then it's just an extra screen it's literally just like using an external monitor however on your ipad and it's all wireless it works brilliantly now as useful as sidecar is because it is very useful when you're out and about you can just use your ipad as your second display to your macbook there are some downsides and that is because it is literally an extension of your macbook display you can't use all of your iPad apps. And that is where universal control is quite exciting. And I think this is gonna change everything. For example, as we all know, there are reasons as to why you have a MacBook and to why you have an iPad. There are uses for both of them. Now, the main use is obviously this is a touchscreen device. You've got the Apple Pencil and you can draw and you can do loads of things with it that you can't do on the MacBook and vice versa. There's things you can do on the MacBook that you can't do on the iPad. Being able to use the two together as they were intended to be used and not just as an extension to one or the other, that's so good. What it means is that when you're using universal control and you drag your mouse over to your iPad and start typing away on it, you are still interacting with your iPad 
as an iPad. You can still touch it, you can still draw with the Apple Pencil, you can use apps like Procreate, but then where it gets incredibly interesting is that what you can do is you can drag things from one, using the mouse on your MacBook, you could drag something over to your Mac and drop it into a Final Cut project or anything like that that you are doing on your MacBook. With no cables, just clicking and dragging while they are next to each other. It's magic! Now for me that seems incredibly useful because I spend a lot of time on my iPad in apps like Procreate, making little doodles that I can then drop into the videos on Final Cut, or using apps like Photoshop creating thumbnails for my YouTube videos. So to literally be able to drag and drop them over without any connecting, without any hassle at all, that is going to save so much time. Now a couple of ways that I am planning on using Universal Control when it is finally released is, like I've just mentioned, dragging photos across into apps like Final Cut while I'm editing videos. I can have Lightroom open and just drag across, make all of my photo edits and then drop it into Final Cut. The other reason I'm looking forward to it is I can have things open on my Mac whilst I am web browsing or planning a project and then over on my iPad I can have a notes app open and use the same keyboard and mouse just to take notes from anything else that I may be researching or creating on my MacBook. I love using my iPad for as much stuff as I possibly can and I adore working on my MacBook Pro but I think this again is just another step forward in how we interact with all the devices as one. Just on a random side note about this as well, maybe this is the reason that we're not going to see any touchscreen MacBooks because if you had a touchscreen MacBook that would pretty much get rid of the fact that you have an iPad because it would literally be one device. You could touch your MacBook screen. By doing this and having two separate devices that work incredibly well together, maybe that's why we won't see a touchscreen MacBook and we already do see touchscreen laptops, so that they are a thing, but maybe two separate devices that talk to each other and work together so well, that's maybe the way forward. I might be wrong on that, it's just a random thought while I was recording this video, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. So overall, Universal Control, I am very excited about it. I think I think it's pretty genius. It's basically magic, isn't it really? I mean, look, how it's, it's magic. I just don't get how it works. But I think there's so many opportunities that it will prove itself incredibly useful that we've not maybe even thought of yet. It's just such a good idea. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below as to whether you think it is a useful feature if you are looking forward to using it, or maybe you just think it's a little bit of a gimmick. Because it might be. Who knows, we've not used it yet. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you like what you see, click that little subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and come and be a part of this community. And I shall look forward to seeing you in the next video.